Can I help you? Yeah, I need uh, uh, condoms, sexual lubricant, vagitine, and blueberries. Lubricant out seven, vagitine out three, next to the tampons, condoms behind the counter, ain't got no blueberries. Thank you. That's Louis C.K. Show. Louis. It's on FX every Thursday night. Louis was. By the way, I, the show is. Not only is it very funny, um, but um, the, the directing is great. I know oh, you direct you. the show, I too. I do, yes. It looks great. It looks like a movie out of the 70s. Thank you. That's you must perfect. be very pleased with the whole thing. I am. I love it. I really, the movie out of the 70s is perfect. That's how what I grew up loving and watching. How is, the, um, how, how is the second season different from the first season? Is it? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, you know, I, 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 when I get bored of something, I just stop doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I didn't keep a lot of the same stuff. Like we moved to a new, a new apartment. It's a whole other. But there's no scene where it happened. I just stopped being in that one and started another one. Last year I had one very constant character was my brother, uh, played by Bobby Kelly, who's a really funny guy, mm -hmm. and he did such a good job. And this year I just didn't feel like it, so he's gone. He's just gone. <laughs> He's gone. I didn't kill him in an episode. He just, it's like he never existed. Well, the great thing for him is, is in a way, like Lost, where he could possibly yes. come back. Yeah, right? he might, he, I guess. <laughs> I'd have to have a good idea. I didn't, I didn't have any ideas for him, so I just stopped this. I just, it, he's not in the reality of the show anymore, like he never was. <laughs> so now I have two sisters. Right. And one of them, and none of this reflects my life. The show's all fiction. But the, the first episode this season uh, introduces my sister. Yes. It's this character. And it's a big introduction. And uh, it's the last thing we shot because I came up with it like right before we wrapped. So she's just gone. She just doesn't come. There's a whole thing where she comes and I love her. Gone. Never see her again. Really? Yes. And my neighbor comes and helps me and he's a really nice guy. And the last thing he says is, remember who your neighbors are. And I go, yes, I would. And he's gone too. He's really? Because he's gone. It seemed like you were going to then have a, like a neighborly friendly it's relationship. Never, you'll never see him again. <laughs> see him no. And, and last year I had this woman play my mother and uh, she was this uh, crazy, horrible woman. It's not, my mother's a really nice person. So I just made up this terrible mother character played by this uh, Mary Louise Wilson, really funny actor. And so we did the episode. And then later in the season, I wanted to do a flashback to my real mother, who was really nice. So I did that, too. And so everybody was very confused. <laughs> These characters are so in insanely different. And the woman who played my mother as a young woman is a woman I date in another episode. It's just a whole other person. <laughs> Because she was good at both parts. So I just don't care. It's an ensemble cast. Well, every episode just has its own goal. Uh -huh. And if it messes up the goal of another episode, I don't give a shit. I just don't care. I like that. You're very fickle and the hell with it. That's and right. you know what? If any you of these don't actors... like it, fire me. Yeah, that's right. It's a very Darwinist system television. No one should get too comfortable with anything. No, man. Not if the it actors stinks, I'm set. gone. And no. not the viewers at home. That's right. <laughs> Louis C.K., everybody. Louis, I